25 of Brian's Jerky Journey coming up. Yes! Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to an all-new episode of Brian's Jerky Journey, a special 25th episode edition. Uh, not being held in my uh, OMB, it's actually in my family room. And I'm actually doing it uh, using some new equipment. So I actually went and bought this uh, called a multifunctional Bluetooth selfie pole. So basically right now I have my camera on this selfie stick that has a little stand at the bottom that you can use and elevate it. And uh, I'm just doing it here in my family room because it is frigid outside here in New England. It was 15 degrees this morning as I headed out to run a quick errand. Um, first thing first, allow me to introduce myself, hosting the place to be. The jerky guy, Bri, Bri, the jerky guy, the notorious Brian G. So, um, yeah, so I talked about doing this episode for a while. Um, the uh, the brand is Smokehouse Jerky Company, and they sent me 16 of their brand flavors. Uh, and I think 16 in one episode would be a too long, too much, it wouldn't be good for my health. You know, it kind of sway me as I relate as it relates to me um, ranking the jerky that I review later on. So. I initially thought about doing a two-parter where I review eight. Uh, I'd done up to ten in one review before, but I think, again, it was kind of long and, and kind of, uh, I think it could have hurt the, um, the validity of the uh, quality of how I rank some of the jerky later on. So I think what I'm going to do in the spirit of Crisis, uh, if anyone wants to watch the um, Crisis on Infinite Earths uh, series on the CW, uh, that incorporates all the shows from the uh, the DC Arrowverse, as they call it. Because I'm actually going to do this as a four-part series. So I'm going to do a four-part series showcasing four brands each. So episode 25, part one of Smokehouse Jerky Company's Jerky. And what I'm going to do is, this is the package they sent me. So you can tell how much is in here. It's insane. Um, I'm going to pick four at a time uh, at random and read off the packaging and then do it at one taste test and then get my rankings. So I do not know, I kind of just kind of scurrying through it to see what we had, um, but I'm literally just sticking my hand in here and just grabbing, you know, just sur surfing around and then just deciding to pull one out. <laughs> she said. So let's pull the first one out. And the first one I have is uh, Tropical Fusion. And so here it is, Smokehouse Jerky Company. They tout themselves being a gourmet brisket beef jerky. Um, low fat, handcrafted, solid steak strips. Uh, with no added MSG and made in the USA. And um, that's pretty much in there. Best buy date is um, November 15th, 2020. Um, and then this is a one ounce package. So for what it's worth, it's actually not a bad thing. It just I could probably have this uh, as a review it's, you know, by itself. But um, it's actually kind of nice that this is the case because a lot of the, the just kind of reading so far in the small content, um, it seems to be from a cal uh, caloric standpoint fairly lower than uh, compared to what I've reviewed in prior episodes. So, um, but yeah, so this is uh, distributed by Tender Heifer Snack Company out of Hemet, California. Um, the Smokehouse Jerky Company is based out of that area as well. So, um, just reading off the one package serving, uh, it's 60 calories with 15 calories from cat from fat. Only a gram and a half of fat with no saturated or trans fats. 20 milligrams of cholesterol, 65 milligrams of sodium, four grams of carbs, no dietary fiber with three grams of sugar and nine grams of protein. So right off the bat, this is actually, um, it's nice because it's, uh, um, the, I've always noticed that it's at least 200 milligrams of sodium for this. So uh, it's fairly lower sodium, which is great. Um, so let's just do a quick one bite test of the Tropical Fusion and do my standard uh, ratings as it relates to tenderness, texture, initial scent, then smell, and then show me this taste. So let's dig into the Tropical Fusion. Initial scent. Hmm. Got a nice scent to it. Oh, and by the way, I hope you don't mind the kale, yeah. Um, it's kind of full disclosure, or if you don't know the meaning, uh, uh, people who know my last name, um, it's Portuguese in nature, and I'm actually, you know, without taking an anxious uh, DNA test or whatnot, but for, as far as I'm concerned, based off of my parents' upbringing, I am 100% Portuguese. So kale is a staple in a Portuguese diet. Um, and despite what my wife might think, I do like kale. Um, I 
will eat it in the standard Portuguese soup, and then I get it in my salad. So, uh, so that's why I like the shirts like the kale. Yeah, um, I still like beef. I'll still eat kale, so you can balance. So um, yeah, so here is the uh, tropical fusion. Um, it's got def definitely speaks to the um, the steak strip aspect of it because it feels like a thick piece, but it's uh, tender enough where you can move it around fairly easy, and with minimal effort you can break it into send, um, into small pieces, smaller pieces if you wish to do that. So, um, so I'm liking what I'm seeing here. I'm going to give it a five out of five on uh, tenderness and texture. I like the initial scent. Can I smell tropical? I smell definitely like a sweet. It, it smells kind of sweet sugary so you can know that you're probably going to get something a little sweeter compared to uh, if you're going to get something a little hotter so uh, it's a nice scent to that it smells good I'm going to give it a four uh, and then let's just uh, see how it chews and how it tastes So I like, as you guys know, I like teriyaki. So it's um, the tropical aspect of it. It does um, carry itself a lot like a teriyaki, which I like. So I like this. I'll give this a five on tenderness um, on chewiness and taste. It chews well and it tastes good. I like that. So all right. And then uh, kind of looking at it from a nutritional standpoint aspect, this is probably, if I had to take a guess, this is probably going to be one Weight Watcher Smart Point um, for the whole bag. So that's actually good. And the great thing is now, if, the, if this is going to be the case with the other ones, I actually might carry some of these over and do some of these reviews during the weekdays as well. Because this is fairly around the same content as what I um, uh, have with the, uh, the Target Market Pantry stuff that I get during the week. So if that's the case, I'll probably try some of this as well. So let's take them to the second one. Cracked Black Pepper. Um, same thing. Messaging is pretty much the same. Um, only difference so far is the crack, cracked black pepper. They do tout this being gluten free. The other one wasn't. So, um, and then looking at the content, um, same, almost some of the same thing. 65 calories, um, with 10 calories in fat with a gram of fat, uh, no saturated trans fats, 10 milligrams of cholesterol, 600 milligrams of sodium. So, um, that's probably because of the pepper, the the sodium content is probably increased there because of that. Four grams of carbs, no dietary fiber, three grams of sugar, and eight grams of protein. So let's dig into this. And actually, if you, I don't know if you can see it right now, but um, this actually looks like longer strips. So let's dig into the cracked pepper. And this one's best used by uh, December 6th of 2020. Yeah, so I, I already noticed long strips in here and pulling one out to see it already. And I, yeah, so some of the pepper, I don't know if you can hear that, some of the pepper's already coming off. So, um, actually not thrilled with the aspect of the pepper coming off so, so easily, considering this is a staple of this particular flavor. Um, but, um, but tenderness wise, I'm sorry, I'm not showing you guys, but tenderness wise seems to be, um, seems to be there. And again, minimal effort to move. So I'll give this a four. Um, and then scent and smell. So there's really no, I really don't smell anything off of it. I can smell, but I, um, I don't, you definitely, you can smell, it's kind of a smokiness to it, uh, probably with the cracked black, black pepper, but you're not necessarily smelling and saying, oh yeah, that's cracked black pepper. That's, it's more of a taste thing than a smell thing. So I'll give it a four, um, as well. And then, uh, trueness and taste. So, yeah, it's good. So I'm just, I'm waiting because I'm, as I'm chewing it, I'm like, all right, I feel like I'm going to get a little bit of heat coming and um, <clears throat> I'm getting it a little bit like right here, but it's not, it's not that bad. The only thing it's still kind of irking me is the fact that I'm looking at the table right now in my, in my family room where I have this product. I'm actually like a handful of pepper kernels like I mean yeah I, I don't know if you can see that but like there's a handful of pepper right there 
So I'm not really thrilled with that. I like really for the stuff on that jerky to stay where the jerky is. So I'll give that a three on the on the uh, on the chewiness and taste. More on the taste and the chewiness. It's, it seems like it's so far everything here has been chewing fairly easily. So I'm gonna pull this one out. Spicy sweet. Let's look at that. Spicy sweet. Um, again, same same messaging. This is not gluten free. It's best used by October 25th of this year. Um, nutritional content for this one serving package: 70 calories of so 10 calories from fat, with only a gram of total fat, no saturated trans fats, 15 milligrams of cholesterol, 500 milligrams of sodium, 10 grams of carbs, probably because of the spicy, the sweetness aspect of it. Um, no dietary fiber. Nine grams of sugar. Again, attributed to that, and five grams of protein. So this one actually seems to be lower protein option compared to the other, the first two that I looked at. And that's nine, that's, this one was eight, and this one is five. So um, let's dig into this, spicy sweet. Tennis, uh, texture, initial scent. Mm. So my initial reaction when I smelled that was, oh yeah, I can smell that spiciness. Okay. Um, but again, like thick, thick strips. In it, but it's like this is a nice little it's almost like a disco dance thing it's like all right how uh, tender is it and if you can do this my feeling is if you can do this um, without ripping it then it's a solid texture and it's fairly tender so I'll give this a five on tenderness and texture uh, initial scent kind of had a hint of what could be the spicy aspect of the spicy sweet um, trying to think what I'm uh, what's coming to my mind as I'm smelling it is if you get like Chinese food um, like sweet and sour chicken so you got kind of like the sweet um, like the orange sauce and the pineapple it's almost like the pineapple and the cherry it's like a mix of pineapple and cherry that's kind of what I'm thinking um, which I'm a fan of um, but um, might not be a fan of somebody else but I like this uh, I think it smells good so I'm gonna give it a five on, on scent and smell and then let's see how it chews and tastes Choose well. Again, it's getting that almost like that sweet and sour chicken Chinese type of feel, which again I love. Place um, um, around this area, uh, a very famous uh, Chinese restaurant called Kowloon. Um, they do a sweet and sour chicken that's just I love it. I actually purposely love getting it um, and eating half of it and bringing it home, and then kind of in the morning, just eating it in the morning, just with the, with the stuff frozen on it. Um, and it, as I'm telling you about this, I'm tasting kind of the heat, the aftertaste of the heat. So this is good. Uh, I'm going to give this a four for um, chewing this and taste. And that's full disclosure. When I give my reviews and I give it three, three is pretty much, unless it's really bad, three is going to be like my standard bear. So it kind of sets the bar to three. If it sets the bar with a little bit of uniqueness to it, I'll give it a four. <clears throat> and if it exceeds expectations across the board, but for what I was expecting, it's a five. So, last but not least, I'm not even looking at this right now. Boom. You're seeing it before I am. Smoky Barbie. Basically, Smoky Barbie. So, gluten free. Best used by December 6th of this year. Um, nutritional content. 60 calories, one and a half grams of total fat with no saturated trans fats, 25 milligrams of cholesterol, with only 85 milligrams of sodium, one gram of carb, no dietary fiber, one gram of sugar, and nine grams of protein. So this is kind of like the standard bear um, beef jerky that people uh, state is why they eat it for health reasons, because it's low fat, low carb, high protein. Um, and that's kind of how I started eating it to begin with uh, as I was going through my weight loss journey. I uh, discovered beef jerky and that became a journey that's an additional journey of mine. So, um, so yeah. So, let's dig into the smoky body. And this will be my last one for this this time because we're already at the 14 minute mark. So 14 for four. Um, it's probably going to be the standard. Um, oh yeah, so literally as I'm pulling it out, <clears throat> there's a stickiness already on the hands and that's true to the barbecue. And I can already smell it with it like literally right here. So, <clears throat> first impressions are everything, and I like that. Thick strips, 
easy tenderness, minimal effort to, well, actually this is gonna take a little bit more effort to move. But again, I think a lot of that has to do with the, the freshness. I don't know if you can see that in my hands, but there's like a little filmy stuff right there. So I'll give this a four, tenderness and texture. Uh, I would have given it a five had it not been for the kind of um, the effort that you had to pull to, to get this pulled apart. Um, but just kind of based off the filminess. But I still liked it. So scent to smell. I already liked the initial scent when I was taken out of the bag. So you can that, that's a smokiness right there. Depending, you know, given the fact that it's saying smoky, you smell it. And it's like it is smoky. So and I like that. So it's something that kind of catches your eye, like kind of you raise your eyebrow to it. But you're not like appalled where it's kind of like, whoa, that's that's strong. It's it's strong, but it's not like repulsively strong. So I actually like that. I'm going to give it a five for scent and smell. And then last but not least, as we finish up this first part of episode 25, let's see how it chews and how it tastes. Mm. So <clears throat> it's that fattiness to it, which I think people like because you can chew with minimal effort. And you eat it fast. Oh, uh oh. Came the jerky cat. <clears throat> Making a cameo cam. You wanna see? <clears throat> what do you think? Yeah. Yeah, give me some. Lots of beef jerky, daddy. Hope you guys like the cam cameos. I've already heard from some people that say they do. Um, and I've got some great feedback from a lot of people, uh, probably in the last week, um, across different parts of the country, actually. So it's it's been. Uh, feedback's been good and I really appreciate the feedback I've gotten uh, and I'm open to all sorts of feedback constructive um, somewhat destructive I wouldn't say you know be rude about your feedback but just be kind of open and honest and say you know you know you could do this better or whatnot I'm open to that stuff I'm old enough and have been through enough to understand that sometimes a little um, guidance and criticism can help you improve yourself uh, both in the short run and the long run so right yeah Oh, what the hell? You wanna try some? No, you just wanna get on my lap? You wanna try some? All right. So I like it. Good, five. I'll give it five on shoot and um, chew and taste. Uh, so far, so good. So this will do it for this first part. Be to be continued tomorrow, I'll do another four. But so far, I'm liking what I'm seeing uh, thus far from Smokehouse Jerky Company. Um, I do really like the fact that they're portioned out. So this could be something that I could bring to work and just have and uh, and just review. But I mean, if I'm gonna review, do 12 other episodes, I, I can't do 12 episodes in one. So um, I'll probably continue doing three or four of these at a time and uh, let me know what you think. Uh, so that'll do it for this first part. Stay tuned for uh, part two, where I do another four of Smokehouse Jerky Journey. Uh, in the meantime, you can like this video, leave a comment down below, let me know what you think. Uh, you can subscribe to this channel to watch past uh, future videos. And then you can like me on my other social media channels on Facebook at Brian's Jerky Journey, on Instagram at Brian Jerky Journey, and last but not least, on Twitter at BG Jerky Journey. So I'll do it for part one of episode 25, Brian's Jerky Journey. Hope you enjoyed the journey with me. You join me in the next one. Thanks.